Hi, Corey Nikolic here with The Monkey. Excited to be talking about uh, the Defender product. So we have a pant and a shirt that we'll be talking about today. First, the shirt. First Tactical is all about neat, clean, and professional. We want to make sure we're providing that first responder with the appropriate gear that fits appropriately, that looks good on. What we've done here with the shirt, we've redefined it. Three different fabrics. First fabric is 100% polyester, moisture wicking, antimicrobial, and anti-snag. Keeps you dry and fresh. On the very sides, you'll see this is a different fabric here. This is nylon. This nylon, you can rake Velcro across this all day long without it, without it getting abrasion. That abrasion is important with those heavy vests because you have those around the side. Now, as you move up, this goes up into the Nyko fabric. Our Nyko fabric is a special blend. It's a 5545 uh, Nyko, which is a branded DuPont fabric. There's three attributes to that fabric, which is great. It is moisture wicking, so it pulls all that moisture off of you. Secondly, it's a micro ripstop, so again, going back down, making sure that ripstop is an appropriate size so it's not, over, it's not overdone, so it doesn't have that, that oversized tactical pad that you can see from across the room. And third, this is the first in the industry to, to offer a two-way mechanical stretch on the fabric itself so that this fabric will stretch with you. There's no stretch panels on it. Okay, as you move down, the arm itself uh, designed to be a uniform sleeve. So that sleeve is designed to roll up twice to relieve the hit. The heat, it's not designed to roll all the way up, which then you have to roll down and you have to manage all of that fabric down low. Uh, it's designed to have a uniform fit. So you have um, a professional looking cuff that you can use with Velcro and uh, with gloves on. It does have a, a small piece on the inside so it keeps all those chicks and tiggers um, out if you're doing a grow. Now you do have a small pin pocket down low, so a small pin light, no problem. You have that double elbow, so it will fit our elbow pad on the side. So our elbow pad, it's dual density, perforated, moisture wicking on the inside, articulated with TPU and board in it. So if you do happen to get into a spot where you're on your elbows and you have glass, this will handle it, no problem. It has sharp corners on it, so that when you slip that inside, this is not gonna move around on you. As you move up to the top, this has an oversized, oversized pocket. The zipper has been moved from the top to the front, so there's no, these oversized patches usually cover up that flat, rendering that pocket useless. This one is set from the front, so now when I unzip this, I can put those oversized pockets here. We've taken off all the catch points, so there's no pin flap here, no rain flap, no gusset, so that it's a sheer going all the way across, so that when you're going through on a breach, you're not running into catch points on that door jam or that nail that's sticking out. But we did add that reinforcement to the top so that you can actually put that pin back in top. So we did add that functionality back into it. Okay. You'll notice up at the top, this does have a, a set in sleeve, not a raglan sleeve. So it has that more professional look when it's in a solid color. And you'll notice the collar. The collar will zip up, keeping that will zip up to keep that sling off of your neck, or will zip down all the way, making that look like a very nice uh, fold-down collar without all those straps and Velcro on the outside. The shirt is fit so that it is fit like a polo. It doesn't fit like a compression shirt, so that when you take your heavy vest off. It has a very nice fit to it, so it fits appropriately on everybody as a uniform. Now, that's the shirt. The pan itself, as we move down, we talked about that Nyko fabric. Again, it's used down here, so that two-way mechanical stretch is important on the pant. We don't have stretch panels above the knees, on the pockets, or on the back yoke. Those always blow out. Our entire pant stretches. On this, you have the seven fuse belt loops. The belt loops on the side, they have rivets on it with nylon so that now when you wear that with a level one escape harness, you put this on, this is tied in this inherently strong seam running all the way down the side so this belt is not gonna pull out. The side pocket here is set down just a little bit lower on the front so when you're wearing this with a battle belt, this battle belt is not in inhibiting this pocket functionality. 
You do have an angled mag pocket. So that mag pocket is nice so that you can fit those oversized mags and it's angled so that when you're doing a tactical reload, it goes right inside no problem. On the back of the pocket, you do have a small area with a knife. So I can now take this and throw this in so that it hides that knife clip. So again, I'm not catching it on the environment. Okay. This side pocket has been designed so that it's very flat. It's sheer going this way. There's no pleats getting caught. It's a silent closure. So it's zippered, open all the way up. It bellows at the back. It's about one inch bellow on the bottom and the back. So I can get into it very easily. Inside, I have two AR mags or three pistol mags down low so I can pack it out the way I need to. Up top, I do have a small lanyard that I can hook into it and also a small lanyard up in the main pocket here so that I can, so I can loop in any and lanyard, dummy cord, anything into these pants. So if I'm working kilos, platforms, or water hazards, they will stay tight. Tread pocket on the inside of the main. Now as we move down, all of our pockets do have drain hole pockets down low. As you get to the knee, the knee area, this knee pad has a side zipper entry, mesh lined so that it acts as a secondary, uh, secondary venting point. And when you slip this knee pad in, this knee pad has a shadow stitched again, set from behind one piece of fabric. This is shaped in an octagon, just as our shirt, so that with these sharp corners, this goes and pops into place so that it doesn't rock around. It is secure. Again, articulated with that TPU up on top in the board so I can kneel down on top of anything hazardous in the field without an issue. I can use this pant in three different ways. Without the knee pad, with the basic knee pad, or with the Defender knee pad. And on mission, I can make a determination of how I want that to rock. Note on the inside, I do have Cordura on the inside so that I have this thing laminated together so it fortifies all those fibers so that it makes a great pant no matter where you're at. As I move down, I have a small tourniquet pocket. So this tourniquet pocket is very nice for the cat tee. It fits it perfectly so we made it a little bit narrower and a little bit taller so that it fits that tourniquet in perfectly. But it, it still has all that functionality on the inside. So it's about an inch on the bottom, an inch on the side. So it'll still fit those nitro gloves. It'll still fit the dope book if you need to carry that. And that can of dip, no problem, will still fit in there. What's an important tool for most guys. Bungee blousing at the very bottom. We have um, articulation in the back of the knee and venting on the back and also on the knee to knee running gusset venting there as well. Gray pant, uh, available multicam, OD green, black, and midnight navy. Thank you very much for your time. We hope you consider this as your fast tactical pant. This is first tactical quarry and uh, looking forward to getting you in these pants. Thank you very much for your time. Be safe out there.